Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. I got you, babe? <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. 
What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a nerd dime, graffiti. Not a bomb. Warren must have been here. <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Beer. What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes you. Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Six. 
seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Eighty-two cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! You have powers! I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Thank you.